Hello everyone, Valdestot here with Mrs. Valdestot. And this Wednesdays are our only off days together. Yes. And I, she was sleeping and I got a call out of the blue when I had my app on and the app is called Deliver That, mainly for catering orders, okay? I did turn the app on earlier, and there were like five orders on the screen, but all of them were kind of a little further away, so I didn't accept any of them. But the phone call came in kind of asking me if I would at least take two of them, and I basically said, well, it's kind of far away, and that's one of the reasons I didn't want them in the first place. Mm -hmm. But he said, well, maybe we can work with you on the pay. So I said, well, the Hamilton Place area is roughly around 15 miles away one way. And then factor in the, you know, uh, from the restaurants to the customers and all that, and then back, it's going to be close to about 35 to, you know, 40 miles. I said, I'm not sure if it's worth it. And he says, well, why don't we do this? We can guarantee $52 if you take these two catering orders. And we'll, we can pick up both orders and then deliver them one at a time and then the further one will be the one that gets you back home and i said all right if you're willing to do that i'll take them so this video is going to illustrate how to actually do these orders and i'm going to ex we're both going to explain you know the process and how it actually all works because a lot of you on my community tab asked how much was a tip how much was a tip how much is a tip yes okay so mm -hmm. let's put that off until afterwards so let's do this right now because we have to pick up this order uh probably in the next what it says to uh, pick up by 10 40. we have to pick up this order in the next um yes about 10 40. what time is it now it is 1024. 10 okay, so we got a, a few minutes before I have to knock on the door, right? And so, they're closed. They don't open to 11. So usually when we get to places like this early in the morning, um, they are always closed. So you have to go knock on the door. And yes, deliver that. We'll send you bags. Yes, you have to pay for them. You can use uh, regular store bags, no logo bags, no DoorDash bags, no Grubhub bags. Nothing like that, but you can use um, public bags or Walmart bags until you get your door, your deliver that bags. So yeah. Just letting you know. It costs about $35 for the bags. You get like four cloth bags and one insulated bag. Plus, it accounts for your MVR, which is your motor vehicle record, which is literally they're going to use checker. You know, they always yeah. use checker and they basically make sure that you are not a menace to society on the roads. So they are big and mm -hmm. we'll show you to we'll show them to you when we get out and get the bags out. But we'll get to that. OK, so anyway, let's start. OK, so here is the screen right here. OK, so we are at brown bag right here waiting at the restaurant for the order to be actually ready for us to pick up. So you get these order screens, you can either accept or reject. And the three dots on the corner allows you to reject the order. Right up here. Yeah. But we're not going to do that because it'll show confidential information if we do. So pretty much you have the ability to accept or reject these types of orders. You can accept it, but then if it's an order that goes too far or if you decide you can't do it on the day that it's on you can always go up here and offer the, the order to another driver it doesn't go there's no ratings or anything so you no don't have to acceptance worry about that. rates no yeah nothing like that the only thing though is is they politely ask you to if you don't want it do it at least 24 hours prior to the pickup now here this is this system is a lot different than the main gig app systems doordash grubhub uber eats and all them they give you orders typically on the fly as needed with easy cater the majority bulk of their orders gives you scheduled orders ahead of time and what what we mean by that is is that if you get an offer it'll be for one day to a week in advance right and the advantage of that is you can schedule it around your gig apps of DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats. Or W2Jobs, or if yeah. you have real life 
you know, appointments going on, you can always schedule around it. Exactly. So this app is not meant, in my opinion, and you can chime in on that, mm -hmm. to replace the gig apps. No. It's meant as a complementary app so that you can make better money per delivery in between apps. Right. So when, like for us, we have this order and we'll pro since the, the two orders and the last order is going to take us back to our home area and we'll probably pick up a few uh, GrabHub orders. Or, or Uber Eats Uber orders. orders. No DoorDash. No, no, no. And to finish off our morning order for uh, lunch rush and then we'll probably get a lunch ourselves for our for our day and then head back home exactly so this is this is our typical wednesday mm -hmm. and sometimes so, thursday mornings before yeah, you go to work and thursday mornings yeah. if, if, we, we... if we pick up one for thursday mornings and mm -hmm. he'll drop me off work after that because he's off on thursdays yeah so, so the thing about it is is this is a great secondary app but it can be a good primary app in high volume markets. Right. Our volume is lower. We typically get one to two offers a day on average. Also, the app has to be on in order for you to receive orders present or future. Now, today was a rarity. They called me. Exactly. I was going to say that. They will actively call you if they have orders that's going out and there's no one asking for orders like he said i was i was dead to the world they called him and i didn't know that until he woke me up they called him for five orders asking if he would take two of them they will actively call you or they will send you text messages mm -hmm. asking hey can you take an order or hey we have an order that's really close together can you possibly drop one order so we can have someone else pick it up they will be actively communicating to you as a driver, and they're not just going to let the ball drop. And, and that is a good mm -hmm. thing. Yep. And they're, they're not going to, you know, just leave you hanging and let you be unknown of something. And they are U.S.-based, English-speaking support based in Ohio. Yes. So that is a plus, a major plus. You can understand them, okay? And they are willing to work with you. So... Let's okay. get to the next gonna, page. I'm going to show you this. Okay, okay come here back over here. So when you get to the, um, yes, everybody, these are screenshots we're showing you. So we have to uh, block out personal information. So whenever you get to your designated area, you have to slide arrive. Before you leave to where you are, you have to slide a start job. I didn't take a screenshot of that. So it's going to say start job. You slide start job. So that way you it will time you to wherever you're going because it will say up here. So since we're here, arrive at it, I've already done that. So I didn't take a screenshot of that. So that's where we're at now. So pretty much. There's step-by-step -step things you yeah. do here. Afterwards, when we pick up the order, we will have to ask for a signature, yeah. take pictures, et cetera, et cetera. So here is. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Got it? Yeah, it's a little blurry. Here, this one right here. Okay, okay. yeah, Back that here. works. Okay, let's blurry. Okay, at the top of the screen, you're going to see signature, note, photos, camera, and share. You have to take signatures in between jobs, at the end of jobs as well, so that deliver that and the customer will know the progress of the job. Okay, so here you're going to have different things, categories of the jobs. You're going to have the date of delivery, the date of time, of the check of the apps, and different things. So the, the cost of this job is $290 of the distance and the times everything is transparent you have nothing you've hidden except for what i've blocked out yeah delivery commission 890 uh, extra mileage compensation so it's about 10 bucks for this order not including the tips okay we'll talk about tips later okay right. is there another picture you want to show yep. oh okay this there you right go here. this is the other half of that picture okay so basically Oh, well, the tip pool. Yeah. Okay, it's an easy cater, gratuities, tip pool. We'll explain that later. So that's uh, any other picture before we've got to go? Okay, this one okay. is, since we are here waiting, so okay. we have to go inside really soon, in order to leave this job, you have to make sure you get a signature of the person that helped you pack, pack it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we, uh, once, when we go inside and finish the job, since we are here, 
it will automatically when you hit arrived it will automatically it will go step by step and when you depart and you get signature it's going to say add signature and after that it's going to hit depart we'll show you that afterwards okay. so we're going to get a signature and it's going to say depart so we'll have to slide see the signature and then say depart then we'll have to slide it and depart so everything is step by step it's like foolproof okay so we'll show you that after okay anything else we need to show them at this point nope that's it okay so this well, is we're going to show the bags okay yeah okay so this is part one okay we're going to show the bags right now all right Where are the bags at? Ah, there are the bags. We kept this box in here from the last job. Yep. To help with safety. Okay. So, here are the bags. And they're pretty big. Yeah, this is the insulated bag. Yeah. These are literally catering bags. See? Big bags. Okay. Now, the other ones are cloth only, but show the actual. Yeah. Deliver that bags right there. And the other ones are just simply cloth bags. Simply call. Yeah. It's like DoorDash quality bags. Yeah. See? But they're pretty big. Okay. So we got to go pick this order up. So we are going to put you on pause and we'll talk and later. Helps, uh, you know, basically prepare them for issues like this as well. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it looks like it was canceled uh, just over an hour and our policy is two hours. So you will get paid for this order regardless. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it, odds are, like, I don't have any de the exact details about why, you know, why it was canceled. Normally, it, um, normally it's either the restaurant realizes that they can't complete the order, they don't have the resources to complete it, or the customer has decided that they don't want it for some reason. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can go ahead and get that put through, make sure that you get paid for it. Unfortunately, these things do happen, and they make a bummer, but again, you know, when the dispatcher told you, you know, you see what they were still right, whoever spoke to you. You are still going to get, you know, it still be worth it, even though you only have to do the one. Okay. So, awesome. Um, well, yeah, I'm, thank you for that. I, and uh, just, uh, you, yeah, I mean, I'm going to promote you guys on the channel. I have, uh, it's not like millions or thousands. I have like about 1,300 subscribers and growing. So mm -hmm. basically, you know, I've done YouTube videos for DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and all that. And, you know, you guys seem like you're the real deal, so I'm going to promote you guys and hopefully get you more drivers because you obviously could use it, too, since you called me out of the blue. So that was awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. We appreciate that. Uh, before you go, I just have a personal question. Sure. Your caller ID come up Angry Squirrel. Yes, that <laughs> is right. About that. Yeah, um, I used to own a computer repair business, and that was the name of oh, the business okay. and this is my business phone i just never ch I changed the name i gotcha okay i just i, I had to have people so unique um all right well if you need anything else today if you have any other issues with your brown bag delivery uh anything at all just give us a call we will be here for you and you have a great day okay thank you for your help and it's much appreciated you're awesome thank you absolutely thank you mm -hmm. bye bye okay so now we are going to be heading towards the first location. This was kind of a good video to do because you got to hear their support. She was very nice, English speaking, as I said, based in Ohio. And apparently we're gonna get paid for the canceled order based on what she said, two hours, uh, if it's under two hours of cancellation notice, the driver still gets paid. So there's some news we didn't even know in the month of doing this. Yep. So anyway. So we're not gonna be doing the second order. We're not mm -hmm. picking up the second one. Uh, just giving it back because I didn't turn it on sooner. Uh, we were supposed to pick up a second order and then deliver both of them back to back and then go back down to our home area, back down to Chattanooga. Um, the second one was canceled. Red Robin. Red Robin. And she says that it was if it was canceled within uh, two hours, then we would not have gotten paid. But it yeah, was, if it's, no, after two hours. After two hours, yeah. then, um, but it was canceled within one hour, so we were still, we're still getting paid. Which is strange so, because yeah. we only, we took the orders about an hour ago, a little less yeah. than an hour ago. I mean, and that's. And then apparently it was canceled right after we took the order. Yeah. So. And I can fully attest that restaurants are having staffing issues. So yep. I bet you they just didn't have the staff 
and they couldn't get to people make to come it. in soon enough to make it. Yeah. So, okay. So that's that for now. We're going to put you on pause again yep. because all we're going to be doing is it's driving. driving. Um, it's going to take us uh, 9.7 miles to get there, probably about 11, 12 minutes. Yeah. So. This is one of the reasons why I didn't initially take any of the offers because we're completely on the other side of our region. Yeah. Way over there yeah. in Ghostville. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Before we pause, this is a good opportunity to talk, actually talk about the app itself. Yes. Namely tips. Because tips. this is the meat and potatoes of what everyone wants to know. Yeah. How much tips do we get? Here's the thing. Deliver That uses what's called the Easy Cater Delivery Platform. They are literally a third-party app using Easy Cater's, you know, main app. Okay, I just found out from uh, the uh, brown bag location we just picked up this order from that a lot of other gig apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, are, they're farming out their catering orders using the Easy Cater app. And I'm going to throw out a name out there, okay, Dash or Pass, the new gig channel that I promoted last month, a little over a month ago, she did a video on if there was tip stealing using the Easy Cater app. She and I discussed briefly, subject to change, but she was on board with it, that we would do a collab based on her research on Easy Cater and my knowledge, or our knowledge, I should say, on Easy Cater orders, because we've been doing this for a month, yeah. that I can tell you flat out, and we will do another actual in-depth how-to video on PowerPoint step by step right. of how to do these orders, right? That we typically get anywhere from about 19 to about $25 a delivery. Now, I would I was going to ask you this morning, but you were asleep that I wanted to see how much the last payout was. Can you open your phone? Put this on pause. Okay. I want uh, we're going to put you on pause and we're going to take a what screenshot. Is today? Today's Thursday, uh, Thursday or Wednesday. So, yeah, I think you should have gotten paid for that $500 catering order okay, on so, Tuesday. Okay, um, so tell them what days you get paid on uh, Deliver That. Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah, okay, okay. So we're going to put you on pause, and we're going to get a screenshot of that, and we're going to show you. I can't screenshot. Oh, you can't screenshot that? No. Okay, well, we can just bank. basically show you. Okay, so as long as there's no personal information, we just want to zoom in on the pay okay. for that $500 order. Okay. Okay, so hold on. put it on pause. Okay, so this is the amount the paydays is wednesdays and fridays yes not Tuesdays. for deliveries yeah wednesdays for delivery. fridays yeah. yeah this is for that one day of what was it five five hundred dollars five hundred dollar order catering order yeah. catering order this was the the pay see deliver that on the eighth twenty six eighty five so some people are going to say f that that's not worth it okay some people will say that because right. they expect at least ten percent or more on amounts that high. So they were thinking it was probably gonna be like about 50 plus dollars to do that order. Here's the thing about that. This is why we wanted to table this so that we could explain in detail what is going on. We are in a catering pool for tips, kind of like restaurant employees share their tips, kind of like what DoorDash in the very beginning did before the tip sharing scandal happened, right? In order to guarantee all orders have tips, they do what's called tip sharing or a catering pool. As she will show you right there, read what it says, hon. Okay, let me get over here. That's okay. what I was trying to pull up. Yeah. Okay, it says, this delivery qualifies for the easy tip pull. The tip pool typically ranges between $14 to $19 per delivery. Oh, sorry. How easy guarantees, um, trying to see it, are passed 100% to the deliveries, deliverers who take them and are split evenly amongst only easy cater deliveries. I'm trying to see it with the yeah, sun. I know, it's hard, sorry. Yeah, the sun just hit this, uh, the phone. But anyway, the bottom line is, is we are in a tip sharing pool. So we will always get a minimum of 19 plus dollars 
an offer regardless of the amount of the orders. So for some of you, that may turn you off. But like we said at the beginning of the video, okay, the beginning of the video, we said that this, in our minds, would be a complimentary app to use that you can schedule in between your other Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, or any other platforms that you use. Because, again, the majority of these orders are scheduled. So you know you're gonna get a guaranteed 20 to $25 minimum. Right, I don't know if you guys saw in the screenshots before, this order was $9.64. Yeah, it was eight something uh, plus the yeah, tip. Plus yeah, which the tips. equaled $10. Yes. That's commission for our base pay, and they, it varies upon order and mileage, uh -huh. okay? But the tips are, I mean, this could have been a $50 tip order for all we know but it's shared so that every offer is at the minimum going to give you 19 in our area. I've seen 19s, but the majority are like 20 to about 24. This, uh, the $500 one was 26. So that's the highest we've seen Yes. Oh, for, on your pay summary right? Uh, through the checking account. So anyway, hopefully that explains that, the pay system. So, Anything else to add before we get to um, our location? We're about three minutes out. I think that's it for now. Um, we'll take uh, videos of what we do yes. after we set up. Yeah, when we go in. Um, for a catering order, I know a lot of people don't like to do a lot of touchy-touchy stuff, but for cater catering orders, it's kind of different. So we'll, we'll show you what we do when we go inside, okay? Right. So we are going to pause it here and get a better direction of where we need to go. Yeah. Okay. And oh. and by the way, catering orders is mostly always, always to businesses. So far, it's to businesses or medical centers. Exactly. So, and I believe we are going to another medical center. Possibly? I don't know. I think so. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, we yeah. shall return. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, y'all. So, this is what we have to do is when you bring your catering order in, you set it up. You don't just leave it there in the bags to let them do it. See, this is the bags. You take everything with you, all of the bags and everything. If it's in boxes, you take the boxes. You set it up nice and neat, just like that. Okay, so now that you see what it has to look like once you get to um once you drop it off and you set it up and everything is good you let them inspect it let them see it set it up and after they inspect it you get a signature this is what the signature screen looks like it's blank it's blank because There's already, nothing we to already it. took the signature yeah. but this is just a blank signature screen. this is a blank signature screen it is a screenshot blank signature screen let them sign it and then hit save and that's it no, pictures too. Yeah, you no, have to upload I get to the pictures. It. I'm okay. getting to it. That's it. That's it for the screen. Okay. Sorry. Then this is what the screen looks like. You take a picture, and wherever your picture is at, you find it and you hit upload. And then you didn't take a picture of the next screen. No. Not the upload screen. No, but because it would have showed it, confidential information. Yeah. So. It is self explanatory. Once you hit, you find your picture and hit upload. You find it wherever it's at in there and you hit upload then it's going to have a screen it's going to have one side is going to have the signature the other side then you scroll down and you're going to see the picture where you put on it and then you hit job done yep that's it and you Sounds have to slide delivery. the customer's name and then mm -hmm. slide it again to complete the job yep yeah and then you are done with that job yep and then you are still on waiting for other deliveries that is correct and this is what the screen looks like when you are on waiting for deliveries. And you just put that little tab over when you're off and you turn it back over when you're on. That's what well, it looks like. Mm -hmm. That is Any really other normal screen. And absolutely. you leave it on all day long. Why? Explain. Because some days, if you, when you wake up in the morning, you turn it on and you turn it off when you go go to bed at night in this market because it's smaller and it's a brand new app it is 
hit and miss to get offers. And we, I have noticed because whenever he goes to work and I'm on my days off, he leaves his phone with me. I have noticed that most of the offers comes in before 1 o'clock p.m. Between and 6 a.m. to 1. Yes, basically. 6 a.m. to 1. But we leave it on all day long and then we turn it off around 7 or 8 p.m. at night. Just to see when the when, when they come in. Just to, you know, test it out. Man, yeah, it's more or less a before lunch or right, right at lunch offers come in. Because if you think about it, catering orders, as you said, are for, are for mainly businesses. businesses and medical places, right? Right. They are not really going to get catering orders for the dinner time. I mean, we had that one you said was at 4 p.m., which was the only one offer we've seen in a month that was after 1 p.m. Yeah. That was it. Only one. So it's made, these catering orders are mainly morning and early afternoon offers. That, at least from our market. Again, every market could be different. We are in a smaller market, but we're telling you our experiences of what this app has done for us in our market in terms of when we get orders, what type of orders, and um, where the locations are for these orders. And they're mainly businesses and medical you know, professions. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. So anyway, anything to add? No, nope. that's just letting you guys know this is our everyday thing. The app is on every morning, every day, and sees come in. I mean, the orders could be, like he said earlier, it could be a day in advance or it could be a week in advance. We had one that was here for, what, a week? Nine days, actually. Nine days? Yeah. And it was right before I had to go to work the other day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So exactly. We, we did it. And then after that, we he dropped me off of work. Yep. I mean, it was perfectly planned. So, I mean, it didn't even have to worry about our schedule. So, I mean, it was no issue. Mm -hmm. So, it was extra money, we say. Yeah, pretty much. And again, people, I said it before, and we said it before, this is a good complimentary app for when you are gig apping. It's not supposed to be a full-time job. Oh, it can be in certain markets. In certain markets, yes. If you get the order volume yes. in your market, great, make it a full-time job. But one last thing I just remembered about this. They will not allow you to take two or more offers within a certain time period no. because they want you to have sufficient time to pick up an order, to drive to the location, pick up the order, and drop it off. So you have the ability to take every single offer on your screen, but driver care, or driver support, I should say, that's their official name, driver support will be calling you mm -hmm. to remove any offers that conflict with one another. Right. They do not want the food to be late. They do not want the food to be cold. They are there for you and they are there for their customers. Exactly. They are looking out for both parties. They do not want you to bot off more than you can choose. So don't think that you can take, oh, there's five offers like today. I right. had five offers this morning. They're all roughly around the same time within five, like five, ten minutes yeah, of each other think, for pickup and drop-offs. Don't think you can run out of van and you take all five offers. They're going to say no to that and take all of the offers away from you. Don't leave one. Yeah. Maybe two if it's spread out at least 30 to 40 minutes after the last order to, for the next pickup. That's basically it. So anyway, the, now that is it. We're going to yeah. be turning on Grubhub and Uber Eats, right? We didn't break our bags. You we got it. the DoorDash bags. Uh, you know. I know. You, you took the good bags out, but left We the bags. needed the room for there. the catering. I yeah. didn't think about that. but at least, Because Uber Eats, they don't care what bags you use. Mm. Theoretically, we right? We can use them to deliver that bags. We could promote them more. Yeah, actually, that's true. The deliver of that bag huge. is huge. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we're rambling now. That's yeah. it. Hope you got some good information off of this video, and hopefully this will let you know what to expect when you take on and sign on with Deliver That. Yeah. Easy cater or ordering system. 
tip pooling secondary app unless you're in a market that has high volume then you can make it your primary app and just uh, you can't take large quantities of orders at the same time because they will remove them I think those are the takeaways right yeah I think so okay that's it have a great day and we will talk to you all later bye